And we move down to the start of the doubles. Fistrebeck and Friedman from Slovenia and Israel and Appel and Saring from Germany. Off the start there, would start from both crews tight. Oh, there we see the crew from Slovenia and Israel moving just off their station towards the Germans. I'll have Ger to correct that. Germans off at 40. And uh, the Slovenian Israeli crew off at 41. And we move to the live shots here at Fawley, and it is very tight between these two crews. The Germans probably just sitting down off the crew from Slovenia and Israel. They've settled now, this German crew settled down, rating 34 now. Trying to stay in contention. It's both lane, they can see them looking across, just keeping the measure of each other. It's always interesting through this middle section now, the crew that's just slightly down, you wouldn't want to be here, but how much they're pacing themselves, how much they're waiting. But it's looking tidy in that uh, Slovenian-Israeli double as well. Yeah, look, the Slovenian-Israeli double, they've just put on a little burst there and just taken the measure of the German crew. This German crew, they were the junior world champions in 2014 in the double skull. So two young men here, Having a great skull, but just a length down now on the crew from Slovenia and Israel. I don't have it, but I quite like the story. I would quite like to know the story of how we have got a double here with Slovenia and Israel. I don't, I don't have that. I, I, we have the history of the two athletes, but how they... I mean, I, I do know that they um, have both tried and failed to, failed to qualify for Rio. So we've got, we have a lot of that here at this regatta. You know, the athletes that they train and trial all year trying to make it through and at the last chance they don't quite make it for selection for Rio and they're coming here to to use their training but they've you know they've, they've trained three times a day all, all year and they want to use it for something and goodness they're using it there now and I wonder with this German double if they are going to be making an appearance at the under 23 world championships because they're dual world champions in the uh, junior men's double skull in 2013 and 14 uh, they both rode in the under-23s at the World Championships last year, uh, but they rode in the single and the quad. So I wonder if the reformation of a double, if we will see them in Rotterdam later in the year. There are quite a number of under-23 international representative crews here. We'll be seeing a few more in the coming races. But uh, given that the under-23 and junior World Championships are so late this year, they're after the Olympics in the last week of August, uh, we're seeing a number of crews using this as a really good opportunity to get some quality racing in and they have really met their match here in this combination from Slovenia and Israel who are now starting to walk away with the lead. Yeah, it looks like, you rarely see it at Henley actually, but it does look like German double have just given up a little bit. They've, they've dropped their rating down to 31 where this Israeli-Slovenian double, they're still up at 34, 35, even though they're well ahead and absolutely powering it down. Quite, you know, they, they're really working it hard, even though they're through this section. And they're struggling, they are struggling. I think maybe yeah. they, they haven't dropped it down. They're just kind of a bit tired. And I think they just, they really fought hard to stay in contention through the middle of that race. Um, they, they held the overlap for quite a while, but they, that Slovenian, they just be able to sit up, tap it along and really push on. I mean, look at the power in that boat, looking, looking from the, yeah, and we can the see the angles there. The German double there really struggling with a little bit of bounce in the water, maybe a little bit of breeze on the water. They're both shifting around and taking a few deep strokes, whereas this crew from Israel and Slovenia, they're not bearing too deep. They look nice and lively. Here we go. They're putting on a little burst as they come past the stewards. That little cheer and, and clap tends to give you a little bit of a lift, uh, particularly when you're feeling good uh, and in front. So I, I think that that's helped to spur them on to an even greater lead, but the German combination really struggling with these difficult uh, conditions that you tend to face on a moving river. So great for these athletes here, trained all year, failed in the last chance to qualify for Rio. Let's hope they get something, I mean, they get something good out of this regatta, I and mean, that's a beautiful combination there. And as we come down to the line now, in the doubles, wow. it will be Fischerbeck and Friedman from Slovenia and Israel, just ahead of the junior world champions from Germany, Appel and Searing.